Hey, baby doll. How's it going? How was your 1920s jazz history exam? Uh, maybe you're the one that's cut out for all of this musical history stuff, honey. And all those musicals in general. I can't hold a note or apparently pass a test in the subject. Oh, come on, honey. I know you can make music. Anyone can. It doesn't matter if you have so-called technical abilities. It's all about the heart, right? The heart? Yeah, babe. As long as you have your heart in something, the feeling will shine through. Yeah, but I'm not sure the people in the streets of our fair city want to hear my feelings shine through quite like they do yours, hon. You're a little more talented than me. Oh yeah? And how so? Well, for instance, you play instruments. Multiple instruments. I think all of the instruments. Well, okay, yeah. I do play a lot of instruments. And you've even invented some of your own instruments. Well, when some things aren't adequate, you just have to make your own, right? I really wish you'd start putting some of your music out there, Ethan. You're so good and well. And well? Well what? Well, I just hate to see you wasting your best years busking on the street. But Elena... That's where it's at, performing for the people, the real people. That's what being an artist is all about. Yeah, but those people don't appreciate you. Sure they do. You see how they flock to my corner every Friday night. Yeah, but do they ever actually put any money in the case? Sometimes. How much did you get last month, babe? Well, enough for beer for us, remember? That's what I mean, though. People should be buying you drinks after you blow them away in clubs and theaters. Nah, I could never do it. I'm not cut out for that sort of thing. What do you mean? Why aren't you? I'm just... I just can't. I'm too sensitive. But you've always wanted to, remember? Well, I've recently changed my mind. I think the streets are where I belong. I don't know. Maybe not even there anymore. But why? What's changed so quickly? Well, to tell you the truth, it was your grandma. It's what she said. I think it got to me. Oh no. The thing about the music industry chewing you up and spitting you out, crushing all of your hopes and dreams? Um, yeah. That one. Well, what does she know? I don't know. Uh, nothing, I guess. It's not like she's ever been in show business. She's just watched A Star is Born too many times. But which version, though? The Barbara Streisand one, mostly. Oh, jeez. Well, see, that just proves that she doesn't know what she's talking about. That one stinks. It's true. That one does stink. But don't listen to her. Seriously. She knows nothing. Next to nothing. Next to nothing about anything. But didn't she help raise you? You and your mom and sisters? Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm saying this. Because I know what that crazy old bat is like. And trust me, she has no room to judge you for anything. Well, nevertheless, it, it got to me. It totally shattered my confidence. Oh, honey, no. I mean, I was going to walk around the Jazz Fest this weekend, sit on some corners, but now I don't even want to do that. Oh, come on. Don't let her. Please. She's not worth it. Well, I don't know. I have a thing with authority. What do you mean? I respect it. Jeez, for an artist, you're not very... rebellious. I can't help it. It's how I was raised. My grandma was one tough cookie, believe me. Honey, you are a handsome, talented musician. And my grandma is a retired factory worker who can't even make a decent cookie. And she's a grandma. Well, okay, fine, but... The festival's Friday night. I mean, it starts then, right? Um, yeah, as far as I know. 
Well, what do we have on Friday afternoon? I mean, don't we have that thing? Oh god, you're right. The lunch. My sister's graduation lunch! And isn't your grandma going to be there? Uh, yeah, of course she is. Well, I guess I can try to sit on the opposite end of the room. Yeah, but at some point, I'm going to have to let her talk to you. Do you have to, though? Oh, believe me, it'll be my butt if you don't. She talks a lot of crap about you. But there's something about you she sees, my mom says. She does? Well, she claims to. Oh, that's, uh, not quite the same thing, you know? But it makes me feel a little better. Thank you. It'll be okay, hon. Just follow your heart. Feel it. Like you're always talking about. Remember? Well, I guess sometimes it's easier to preach than practice. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. Well, I guess I'll just sit there and eat my cold cuts and potato salad and try to take it all as constructive criticism. She's in no position to be a critic of anything, so don't worry about it. Wait, has she even heard any of my music though? You gave your mom some of my mixes, right? Maybe she played them. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Ugh, well, I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, I love your sister and all, and I'm happy that she's graduating from electrician school. But this is almost too much to ask. I'll talk to Grandma, babe. I'll make sure she knows that she's to be on her best behavior, okay? Alright, well... As long as she doesn't think that I put you up to it, okay? She seems paranoid enough of me. I'll make sure. Kisses! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kisses. Hi, Grandma. How are you doing today? Ah, horrible. Just horrible. My gout is acting up, I have an ingrown toenail, and I haven't been kissed since 1983. Oh, come on. That can't be true. I remember you having some boyfriends here and there after Grandpa died. Ah, they were a bunch of losers. Every single one of them. No one could compete with your grandfather, and he was a total loser too. Oh, jeez. So anyway, how are you? What's new? I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh yeah, me too. I mean... Can you believe it? Your little sister graduating from electrician school. I would have never believed it. Well, she's always been pretty smart with that kind of stuff, you know? I don't know, but a woman doing that kind of work. I don't know, it seems strange to me, doesn't it to you? I think it would be strange if she did something she hated her whole life. Well, dear, that's just how things are. You work and you hate it and then you die, but it's a living, right? Well, um, it doesn't sound like much of one to me. Well, some people have responsibilities. We can't all be fancy-free floating in, like, some people. Some people? People like who? Anyone specifically you were thinking about? Oh, no. Oh, no, not at all. But, so how's your boyfriend, the busker? Ethan. His name is Ethan, and he's a musician. Oh, that's right, Ethan. Well, how is he? Is he coming tomorrow? Yes, as a matter of fact, he is. And that's why I was texting you. Oh, really? Wasn't out of the kindness of your own heart? You weren't just wanting to check up on your dear old granny? Well, uh... I swear, my grandkids never talk to me anymore now that they've grown up. It's like they don't have time for poor old grandma anymore. Oh, come on, grandma. It's not like that. You all get so busy with your little adult lives, and I'm just left being old and lonely. But you live with mom. Your mother's old and lonely now, too. She's a big drag. Oh, okay then. So Ethan's gonna be there? Will he be performing for us? Yes, he will be there. But no, he will not be performing. Oh, that's too bad. I'd love to hear him perform live. I can't imagine what could be any worse than how it sounded on the album that your mother played for me. Grandma, why do you have to be so mean? Ethan is a really nice guy and really talented. Are you kidding? Talented? You call that keyboard crap with computer talented? Anyone could make that video game music. There's guitars on there too. And drums. He plays all of the instruments. 
Oh, well, supposedly they can do all sorts of studio trickery these days. I've seen him play all of these things, Grandma. Well, fine, fine. I believe you. Sheesh. Well, why can't you give him a chance? It's almost like you have some sort of vendetta against him or something. What do you mean, vendetta? Why would I have a vendetta? You even know what vendetta means? Okay, well, not a vendetta, but a, a bias or whatever. You have it out for him, is what I'm saying. Well, I just don't trust buskers, okay? Buskers? Why don't you trust buskers? They're just a shifty bunch. I just don't trust them. You need to be careful with Mexicans, dear. Why? What's wrong with them? What's right with them? They're unstable, unreliable, and most importantly, in every case, broke. Well, I don't care about that stuff. I love Ethan for Ethan, not for how much money he makes. Love? Did you say love? Oh, God, please, honey, don't tell me that. Don't tell you what? You know what? That you're in love with him. With a street busker of all people. Well, I am, and you're just gonna have to deal with it, okay? I'm an adult. I can be with whoever I want to be with. I'm harsh, honey, but I'm fair. I just want what's best for you. What's best for me is for my family to be supportive of me. I just don't want you getting hurt, that's all. I'll be fine, believe me. Getting hurt is part of love, right? Well, who wants to do that? No thanks. You don't think that love is worth the heartache? No, not one bit. All right, fine, Grandma. You can be old and bitter all you want, but could you at least take it easy on him tomorrow? In fact, can you just be polite, be nice, smile, and not be yourself, okay? Well, I'll try. I can't promise anything, dear. They're serving wine. Hi, honey. How are you feeling? Any better? Well, I don't know. Not really. I mean, your grandma did throw a roll at my head. Yeah, well, don't take it personally. How could I not take it personally? I haven't been in a food fight since the 8th grade. Well, technically it wasn't a food fight if you didn't fight back. Well, that's true. Maybe if I knocked back the whole bottle of Chardonnay like she had, I would have joined in. And in the middle of the afternoon, no less. Jeez, was she always so lush? Pretty much. Half style. Yeah. I don't remember her having such a good arm on her, though. There was a piano at the reception hall. She asked me to play. I was only trying to be polite. And what do I get for my troubles? A half-stale rye roll thrown at my head. Yeah, I don't know what her problem is. I'm so sorry, Ethan. My mom is too. And my sister. They all told me they wanted me to apologize for them. Oh, it isn't their fault. It's nobody's fault but your grandma's that she's an art-hating philistine. I just don't get it. She was so nice until she asked you to play. No, she wasn't. You weren't there earlier when she was asking me what kind of songs I play while I'm begging for change. What? She said that? That was after about half a bottle. I just don't understand it. None of it makes sense to me. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What? What do you mean? I mean, I certainly can't play this weekend. I can't play at that jazz fest. Why? Because she threw a roll at you? I know it's stupid, but I'm really shaken up. I mean, it was in front of everybody. The whole graduation party, all those electricians and whatnot. It was embarrassing. Sure, it wasn't getting slapped at the Oscars, but it was still deeply traumatic. Well, let me talk to her. Maybe we can figure something out. No, no more talking. There's nothing to figure out. I don't even want to see that old hag again. Ethan, really? This doesn't sound like you. Well, it is me, and I'm serious. I'm done with her. And if I can't be done with her, we're going to have to be done too. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm trying to be an artist, and I don't know if I can have someone in my life that so actively hates my art. But that's my grandmother. That's not me, Ethan. It's my grandmother. 
But still, I'm going to have to be around her if we date. I don't know, I... I just don't know if I can handle it. So? Are you saying that you're breaking up with me? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. It's just that... I need time to think it over. Well, okay. I love you, Ethan. I love you too, Elena. Hi, dear. How are you? Have you talked to Ethan yet? Hi, Mom. And yeah, we talked late last night, actually. Oh, no. I don't have a good feeling about this. Well, you shouldn't. He broke up with me. <gasps> what? He did not. Why? Okay, he didn't break up with me. At least, not yet. But there's trouble up ahead. Believe me. Well, what did he say? Well, he said that he has to be with someone with a supportive family, basically. So, he was talking about Grandma? That's what you're saying? Well, did anyone else throw a roll at his head in the last 24 hours? Well, no, I suppose not. Well, so what? I mean, who cares if Grandma doesn't like him? I think he's afraid of her. She shattered his confidence. <sighs> Your poor Grandma. Poor Grandma? What are you talking about? She's crazy! She's not crazy. She's just... I know why she's doing all of this. All of what? Why is she so against Ethan? Why is she so mean to him? Okay, well, I'm all ears. Please enlighten me. Well, honey, Grandma was married before she was with Grandpa. You know that, right? Yeah, the dentist who was hit by a train, right? Well, he wasn't actually a dentist. What? Then what was he? He was... well... he was a musician. What? Yep, he was a musician. A street performer, just like your Ethan. Oh my god. What happened? One day he just got up and left her. Took his guitar taste and just hopped a train like some hobo. Whoa. So he just... broke her heart, huh? Yep. Smashed it to smithereens. She's hated music ever since. Well, she's claimed to. She actually loves it. She loves musicians, too. That's where you got it from. But she thinks they'll always break your heart. Well, whatever happened to the guy? So he wasn't hit by a train? No, he fell off one. He fell off of it? Yeah. She heard that he was riding the rails. And somewhere between here and St. Louis, he was peeing off the train car and slipped. Slipped? In his own pee? Well, I can imagine that peeing from a train car would be very messy. Jeez. So now you understand. Now you get it. There's the big mystery why your grandmother is throwing carbs at your boyfriend. Well, now that I know, maybe she and I can talk and we can resolve this before Ethan dumps me for good. Well, good luck, dear. You're going to need it. Thanks, Mom. Elena talked to Ethan and told him the story about her grandmother's first husband. They both agreed that it wasn't Ethan that she had a problem with, but her own past trauma and hurt. Grandma eventually accepted it too and came to terms with the lingering feelings she had for Sebastian. She made sure to apologize to Ethan in person and encouraged him to busk at the Jazz Fest, which he did. She sat with him and cheered as she would every weekend that summer, rivaling Elena as his biggest fan.